Star Trek Picard is a 2020 TV series about the USS Star Trek Picard. Picard goes on adventures with a new batch of misfits along with a few old friends. It's a nostalgia bait series that's pretty different from the source material. Somebody turn on some lights! Today's math prop appears in Season 2, Episode 4, The Watcher. Picard and Agnes find themselves time-traveled to 2024 at the abandoned Chateau Picard in France. And on the wall here is a dirty old Russian abacus. Agnes walks over to it and does a thing. This scene is set in 2024 France in a house which was apparently abandoned after World War II. So this abacus is from before the war. But why would the Picard family have a Russian abacus on the shelf? I don't know. This seems silly to me when I saw it, but consider this. In the early 1800s, the French mathematician Jean-Victor Poncelet was serving in Napoleon's army when he was captured by the Russians. During his time as a prisoner, he saw them using the Russian abacus and he brought it back to France. And apparently it became popular there, although I can't say how much. So would a French estate in the early 1900s just have a Russian abacus lying around? Maybe. The most common style of abacus is the Chinese swanpan and the similar Japanese soroban. This type you lay flat on a table and move the beads up and down. The zero position is with all the beads away from the horizontal bar. Beads below the bar represent one each, above the bar are fives, and each column is a digit. The Russian abacus is called the shoti, it's a bit different. You hold it like this and move the beads side to side. Each bead counts as a one, except on this special row towards the bottom with only four beads. This is meant for situations where one of your digits is divided into fourths. The zero position is like this, with the beads all the way to the right. To make a number, you slide beads right to left, so 15 would look like this. Anyway, when Agnes finds the abacus, it's sitting on the shelf upside down. See, the fourths bar is towards the top. Agnes walks over and slides some beads to make 15. You moved 15 beads on the abacus. But she did it the wrong way. She went left to right. Now, I'm sure the Trek fans out there will tell me, no, no, it's not the wrong way because it's upside down. That means she should do it backwards. But then it would have been a 51. <laughs> Agnes is really tired. She needs to rest. Thinking is my rest. Can't even comprehend how relaxing calculus can be. I think this is supposed to be a joke, but I can kind of relate. In conclusion, I give Star Trek Picard, The Watcher, my math props rating of bad. Thanks for watching and let me know if you see any more.